Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It. Today's video is going to be a complete hive check. Now, fortunately, out here at the off grid barn, we have a wind turbine that is doing its job keeping the battery banks charged. Right now, we have the tropical, tropical storm going in the Gulf, so no sun, hence no solar. So, anybody who says that uh, wind turbines don't work in Florida, <laughs> here you go. There are so many things in bloom. I am talking so many. But, as with anything, we have rain, so the bees aren't going to be able to get out and get to beautiful flowers like this to pick up their pollen. So we're going to have to make a point of, probably almost on a daily basis, going and taking a quick look inside their hive. Not a daily basis, probably every third to fourth day, and that's just to top off their round feeder. Um, this is, we won't even be going into the bottom of the box again until I bring out the hive beetle traps and put them in. I'll tell you what though, these girls look awesome, and that hack, check it out. It is just absolutely working to perfection. No washing sponges out, no hassle, no fuss, no muss, no dead bees. This is just totally awesome. All right, so because that honeycomb was built in there, I'm gonna twist it instead of pulling straight up. That way I don't pull some of the frames out. Oh shoot. <laughs> All right. The propolis had it glued together. That was pretty That's awesome. What we can do. All right, we got that broke free. Let's see. All right, we got that. Let's go ahead and set this over here. All right. Let's move you down in here a little closer. We can watch. I guess I should have it further away so you can see. But this is looking really great. This honeycomb we don't need on here so I'm going to do like they suggest. Actually, before I do anything, this is just sugar water. I wanted to see the difference between using smoke and sugar water. I'm fully protected. Looks like they really have birthed a lot of babies. This is pretty full in here. All right, David from Barnyard Bees is who I get my suits from. He was the one that was showing on one of his videos um, using sugar water rather than smoke. And again, that's where I got the idea from. And as you can see, it worked out pretty good. Again, the far side. These Italian bees, though, are so this. passive. As you know, I have yet to have anybody it. be aggressive whatsoever. But this side is the side that they're actually working it. You can see the honey in there. I'm assuming that's the cap stuff on the top. And then we have the pollen being the darker stuff down at the bottom. I'm going to have to look this up. I just don't know pretty darn cool. Now from start to finish, because I did edit some out, it was no more than 15 minutes for me to get everything together, walk out here, and check all these frames, open the hive up. I probably all could right. have edited some of the stuff off, Let's you know, where there's little here. dead spaces even, but... So it's not like it's a long, it does not take a lot of time. Now, if you want something really cool, put a headset on. You can hear the bees flying around your ears with a headset on. It is pretty awesome. And as you can see, they look need to really out. great. Put the camera so you guys can see it as I'm seeing it. It looks pretty nice. I'm not seeing the the queen anywhere on this though. 
but there are little, you can see the little uh, larvae in there. It's pretty cool. Let's do this. Hold it steady. Where is that queen? Because this has larva on it, which means she's probably here somewhere laying. Okay. Oh, look at here. I've got a beetle. The, be the beetles they talk about. Hi, beetle, little bugger. Bugger. <laughs> and that's, uh, there's, uh, David from Barnyard Bees showed take an old CD case and mix up some boric acid with oil, put it in the bottom of your hive for these hive beetles. Chill out and lick each other off. So once I get boy. that put together, I'll go ahead and uh, right, film it for y'all. Let you know how it worked out. Again, David from Barnyard Bees. I get my bee suits from him. It's a mom and pop operation. Super I friendly I people. Her, guys. I mean, I know she's here. We got all kinds of cat brood and whatnot going on. Along each edge of these frames, they, they put this seam of propolis that kind of glues them together. And that's where that hive tool comes in by using it. It keeps it from being a jerky action. And they say the fast jerky motions are what upset the bees and kind of get them fired up. Which I'll have to take their word for it. And again, I'm just wanting to put my eyes on the queen. We have fresh brood and stuff in there. So we know that she's okay. I just personally need to see her or want to see her. There she is. She got her little bum tucked down in there, dropping in one of her larva eggs or whatever it is. <laughs> see her right here? There's a little better view, I think, right there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this closed back up. It looks really good. They're feeding nicely. Just a heads up, none of my videos are sponsored. When I recommend people such as David from Barnyard Bees, you know, just, just know I'm recommending them because it was some great information that I got off of one of his videos or if I purchase products from them, you know, from speaking with them or whatever, great customer service. Um, I am in no way sponsored by anybody and I just, you know, wanted to put that out there. Maybe in a little closer. We'll see if there's any of the bees left inside there. <laughs> they just hung out until I put them back on top of their hive. That was awesome. That paper towel trick, that is just the best hack. It is just working out fantastic. Once they get out and they're really foraging, I'm going to pull this feeder off the top. But until that time... I am just going to keep doing like Frederick Dunn said. Whoops. Keep feeding them, keep it full. Let them continue building stuff out. 
But the queen keep laying. He saw all those larvae down in there. Isn't that cool? You guys saw that hive beetle too, right? Uh. But the beauty of that hive beetle, David from Barnyard Bees, he gave me the perfect solution for it. So, and it's one. And they say get on it as soon as you see it, take care of it, and you're good to go. Huh? <laughs> They're still down there on that honeycomb. Check it out. That was the honeycomb that was built up by the feeder. Yeah, it's funny. As a kid, we ran from bees. <laughs> this is just so cool. All right, y'all. Thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful and blessed day. And I'll see you next week on How I Did It.